to start getting ready for work in a little over an hour. But I've been feeling really blah and I really wanted to play. Where am I going? How do I get up there? Okay, so it looks like there's a cave over there. Oh, there is a cave over here. So I apologize in advance for this episode being short. Oh, hey, Hawk. Glad you made it. I just got here myself. My contact with the wardens should be at the back of the cave. A group of wardens were protecting a villager from corpses out near Crestwood. They were likely hunting my friend. I'm glad they didn't come looking for people to help them here. They might well be good men. They've been given bad orders. It's just us. I brought the Inquisitor. My name is Toud, and I'm at your service, Inquisitor. Oh, so is he a good guy? Most of you wardens disappear. Then I run into a darkspawn magister named Corypheus. Do you think that one might have something to do with the other? Mm, I fear it is so. When my friend Hawk slew Corypheus, Weishaupt was happy to put the matter to rest. But an archdemon can survive wounds that seem fatal, and I feared Corypheus might possess the same power. So he's not an archdemon, but he's close My investigation to it. uncovered clues, but no proof. Then, not long after, every warden or in Orlais began to hear the calling. He's like a fake archdemon? Maker, why didn't you tell me? It was a Grey Warden matter. I was bound by an oath of secrecy. You think Corypheus is using this calling to control the Grey Wardens? Not precisely, Your Worship. The calling warns a Grey Warden that his time in this world grows short. And every Grey Warden in Orlais is hearing that right now. They think they're dying. Yes. Likely because of Corypheus. If the Wardens fall. Who will stand against the next blight? Is so are they actually fear? dying, or is it like so a trick? So Corypheus isn't controlling them. He's bluffing them with this calling. And oh yeah, because you find out in the first game that if they actually do hear the calling and they think they're dying, they go into the dark roads and basically just fight until they die. And it's like, you know, one Grey Warden against like hundreds of Darkspawn. So eventually they do end up dying, but it's kind of like their way to um, to die with pride as a warrior, is rather than to just fade away. Real, or is Corypheus mimicking it somehow? I know not. Even as a senior warden, I had heard only the vaguest whispers of Corypheus. The wardens believe that this calling is real and they will act accordingly. That is all we know for certain. In other words, I need Pew Pew Corypheus. You said all the Wardens are hearing the calling. Does that include you? Sadly, yes. It lurks like a wolf in the shadows around a campfire. 
The creature that makes this music has never known the love of the Maker, but at times, I almost understand it. We must uncover what Corypheus has done and end it. This cannot stand. How can Corypheus make all these Wardens hear the calling? I cannot say. We know little about him, save that he is dangerous. He is a Magister, as well as a Darkspawn, and speaks with the voice of the Blight. That lets him affect the minds of Wardens, since we are tied to the Blight ourselves. It must be how he created this false calling. So the Wardens think they're dying and have stopped thinking clearly. That won't go well. We are the only ones who can slay Archdemons. Without us, the next Blight will consume Yeah, without you world. guys, you can't get more Grey Wardens. Warden only a Grey Warden Clarell can create a Grey Warden. Warden spoke of a blood magic ritual to prevent future Blights before we all perished. When I protested the plan as madness, my own comrades turned on me. Grey Wardens are gathering here, in the Western Approach. It is an ancient Tevinter ritual tower. Meet me there, and we will find answers. Let's this go. took a weird turn. should get to the ritual tower in the western approach as soon as possible, your worship. Clarell's the warden commander, right? What's she like? I know it is she. Is a she. Good warden. Once. Among those King Kaelin reached out to before the blight. She always resented missing the chance to help. When the calling came, Clarell stopped listening to the rest of us. Only magic could solve this problem, she said. Do you think Corypheus is using the calling to control her? It's hard to say. I have heard the whispers of the calling myself, but it's only noise, no words, certainly no commands. Either way, the guilt is hers. She's Warden Commander. She should bow to no one's word but Weishaupt's. What's it like, being a Warden? I can't even imagine. <laughs> it's been a long time since I was anything else. It becomes your life. Searching out Darkspawn, killing them, ensuring no one ever knows how close they are. Corypheus was in a warden prison, right? So you must know something about him. I know little, and that much only because of my relative seniority. Most wardens have never heard of him. When I suggested Corypheus might have something to do with the calling, the warden mages turned on me. I trained some of those wardens myself. If I knew any more of Corypheus, I would share it, Your Worship. We'll talk later. Like him. Oh, the Western Approach. Music is so like X Files type. Okay. Didn't want to be on my horse, anyways. I'm glad you made it, Inquisitor. I fear they've already started. How did you get the here before me? It has to be blood magic. I hope we can stop them before more people get hurt. You take point. I'll guard your backs.
<laughs> Wait! No! What the hell is going on? Warden Commander Clarell's orders were clear. This is wrong. Remember your oath. In war, victory. In peace, vigilance. In death. I'm Shit. sorry. Sacrifice. Oh. Hey, are they summoning a rift? Good. Now find it, just as I showed you. He seems evil. Inquisitor! What an unexpected pleasure. Lord Livius Edamond of Virantium. I don't like you. At your service. You are no warden. But you are. The one Clarell let slip. And you found the Inquisitor and came to stop me. Shall we see how oh, that goes? Oh, we'll definitely see how that shows. Wardens! This man is lying to you. He serves an ancient Tevinter Magister who wants to unleash a blight. That's a very serious accusation. Let's see what the Wardens think. Wardens, hands up. Hands down. Corypheus has taken their minds. They did this to themselves. You see, the calling had the Wardens terrified. They looked everywhere for help. So it was a trick. Yes, and since it was my master who put the calling into their little heads, we in the Venatori were prepared. I want to kill him, but I also I don't to want to kill the warden. sympathy, and together we came up with a plan. Raise a demon army, march into the deep roads, and kill the old gods before they wake. Corypheus marching across Orlay with an army of demons. That was in the future I saw at Redcliffe. And now you know how it begins. Sadly for the Wardens, the binding ritual I taught their mages has a side effect. They are now my master's slaves. This was a test. Once the rest of the Wardens complete the ritual, the army will conquer Thedas. So Corypheus influenced the Wardens and made them do this ritual. <laughs> made them? No! Everything you see here, the blood sacrifices to bind the demons, the Wardens did it of their own free will. Fear is a very good motivator, and they were very afraid. You should have seen Clarell agonize over the decision. Burdens of command, I suppose. Why would the Wardens try to kill the old gods? A blight happens when Darkspawn find an old god and corrupt it into an archdemon. If someone fought through the deep roads and killed the old gods before they could be corrupted, woof, no more blights ever. The Wardens sacrifice their lives and save the world. Although I fear history will remember them a little differently now. Why would Clarell risk using demons? Demons need no food, no rest, no healing. Once bound, they will never retreat, never question orders. They are the perfect army to fight through the deep roads. Or across Olay. Now they are bound to my master. Do you really want to see the world fall to the blight? What do you get out of this? I like that these bad guys. The Elder One commands the blight. Them. He is not commanded by it, like the mindless dark sport. The Blight is not unstoppable or uncontrollable. It is simply a tool. No, Livius. You're the tool. As for me, while the Elder One rules from the Golden City, we, the Venatori, will be his god kings here in the world. Release the Wardens from the Binding and surrender. I won't ask twice. No. You won't. <sighs> The Elder One showed me how to deal with you in the event you were foolish enough to interfere again. That mark you bear, the anchor that lets you pass safely through the veil, 
you stole that from my master. He's been forced to seek other ways to access the Fade. When I bring him your head, his gratitude will be... Ah! Oh! Damn right! Kill them! You wanna mess with my mark and blow it up on you? They refuse to listen to reason. You were correct. Through their ritual, the mages are slaves to Corypheus. And the Warden Warriors? Of course. Sacrificed in the ritual. What a waste. The mages killed their fellow Wardens. Nothing can justify that. I don't care about justification. It's past time to take arms against the Wardens and stop this madness. The Wardens were wrong, Hawk, but they had their reasons. All blood mages do. Everyone has a story they tell themselves to justify bad decisions. And it never matters. In the end, you are always alone with your actions. I believe I know where the Wardens are, Your Worship. Eriman fled in that direction. There's an abandoned Warden fortress that way. Adamant. I guess they didn't want to summon a demon army out in public. The Warden and I will scout out Adamant, and confirm that the other Wardens are there. We'll meet you back at Skyhold. I am not a happy camper right now. Okay, so the oh. um, the quest line I was just doing leads to the war table where you have to unlock stuff with power. And I really want to finish up Crestwood first. So I am going to try to do that. Actually, go down here. So, this is old Crestwood. Look at all the bodies. No wonder the undead seem endless. Spirits can't resist, you know. They reach out to see what our reality is like and get trapped. Through the rift. Let's close it before more of them decide to try on corpses. Mayor's house. A letter from Crestwood's mayor. Damp but legible. So it looks like the mayor had a hand in this. Are you a spirit or a demon? Demon? Those dolts who would suck this world dry. I am called to higher things. What is a spirit like you called to do? I lead armies, kingdoms, lords. I am imperial. I am command. What of you? I felt 
that you're coming? Is there something alike in us? I've only just met you. What does that matter? How can you not already see what I am? What a strange world this is, where time blinds you. What's so distressing about the real world? It ignores me. I order the rocks to part, but they do not. I bid the sky draw close, and it stays still. I don't know how you mortals stand it. Why haven't you gone back to the Fade? I will not be denied. I refuse to leave until something obeys my orders. Then I feel compelled to help you. I pledge myself to your service. Oh no, why? I have only one command. A creature made of rage had the gall to chase me across the lake. Destroy it in my name and be rewarded. Rewarded how? By you taking over one of our heads? Yours holds no interest. Works for me. <laughs> Iron Bull. So does this actually go all the way down? I can't act it through there. out of the way.
trying to make sure I don't miss anything. this. This wave looks so creepy. Okay, so I can't go that way. Those waves are actually really freaking me out. I have like this weird fear of underwater in video games. I remember playing uh, Zelda and the Twilight Princess on the Wii and the underwater level it took me like a week to beat. Okay, so does this lead back up? I mean, that would make sense, right? Oh, that just leads right back to where I was. Thank god I could jump back up. Okay, I wanna go over here and explore. So this was the town... This was where the town was when it got flooded. Yeah, I'm just gonna loop back around. Glad I went this way. Since it actually does loop around. That's not a fight. It's more like a death for you. This was another car to hide out. The named mob bombast.
This one seems easy. Oh, it's a little owl. Oh yeah, actually I did it that much. No, so I'm still missing one. Okay, and then there's a pathway up here. Nothing on. Okay. Now I need to go back down. Get down without actually killing myself. Okay, I know where the entrance to the flooded caves are. They're literally right there. But I want to do this one. Just not. Not sure how. But calm down. Tell me that, oh, well, I guess it was a flood, it wasn't a fire. For some other reason, I was thinking it was a fire, and it's like, how did alcohol survive a fire? <laughs> oh, there's one of Solus's little things up there. I hope you guys are having fun over there. You mean getting exiled from my people and declared Talvashoth? Yeah, I should make a cake. You like drinking and singing and breaking beds. You'd already left. The Cune keeps our savage natures in check. Without it, if I lose control... <laughs> Heard that before. Don't worry. You get growly, I'll kick your ass. <sighs> Thank you. I'm not trying to talk to you. I'm trying to loot this. I should leave. See, I already got that one. Please move. There wasn't one in there. Got these ones. Can we be there in... No, I've already been in here. There were no bodies. Is that them? That's a suit of armor. No, that's a scarecrow. Okay. <laughs> um, there they are. Now I need to go into the spooky caves. Where does this lead? Come on, let's 
Find that fade rift. Is it me? Or did the temperature plunge as we stepped inside? Glad these torches still work. Good day. Okay, that's just pretty. Okay, it looks like I need to go around first because that's a dead end with some loot at the end. Oh, never mind. Dead end here. Still loot though. Why is this one already lit? Like, who was here to light that? That's not creepy. This place got flooded. Excuse me. Oh my god. That should not have scared me, but it did. There's nothing over here. But an ambush? Man, these torches don't really do a lot, do they? Yeah, that doesn't look too remarkable to me. That looked really big. This isn't creepy. There's nothing in here. 
Oh, yes, sir. Had enough of caves. Need a fire, a mug, and a city. I feel a draft. There must be a way out nearby. So I'm gonna go this way since the question is the other way. Although this is the exit, I don't know. seem to like it down here. They're like fat fish face rats. I hate rats. So this is the way out. Makes sense. I have gone the wrong way. Yep. I'm just gonna back up and find that hole I could bash into the wall. One day I'll finish one of these mosaic pieces. Oh, demons again! Everything in this game is demons.
That should stop the undead hordes from attacking Crestwood. Let's tell the mayor. As the mailman interrupts me. That's not the door. Where is this going to take me out at? <laughs> oh, it put me way out here. What? Oh, this was a door that I couldn't get into before. Oh, where am I? Red nuggies. It's up right on the side. Okay, I'm gonna go back over here. Turn in that quest to that demon. That way. Spirit, not demon. The rage, demon. the rage demon in the caves is dead, as you commanded. I had no doubts. Now that my sovereignty has been respected, I can depart this unchanging nightmare. Your reward. Use it well. Inquisitor. If only all the spirits were this easy to get rid of. <laughs> Go over here and turn these in. Not that way. It was not the darkspawn that opened the dam and flooded Old Crestwood ten years ago. I did, in secret, the night they attacked. The undead you have been fighting are people I killed with my own hands. We had taken in refugees from the Blight. Many were ill. We moved the sick to the lower part of Crestwood and the refugees into the caves to stop the disease from spreading. It didn't work. One confessed he'd seen Blight sickness before. It was always fatal. When the Darkspawn attacked, I knew the only way the village would survive is if the Blight sick drowned with the monsters. I cannot bear the sight, Old Crestwood, now that the water is gone. I cannot stay. I'm sorry. A letter of confession from the mayor. Yeah, says I knew- I figured the that they had old Crestwood ten years ago some, uh, to stop the Blight from spreading. He drowned them. In the muck. Oh, mayor is having an arrow for tea. Villagers learn about this, they're not going to be happy. 
sad mess. Will the Inquisition bring him in? If I can find him? I can open this door now, too. Knock, knock, coming in. Wasn't there a person in here before? Now I have to find Sister Vaughn. Oh, Nika, hear my cry. Seat me by your side. Your worship. I've already found the remains of the people who died in Old Crestwood. Blessed Andraste. I didn't imagine you'd look yourself. Thank you for your thoughtfulness. It is all too rare these days. Who do you think so I would send? I prepare the bodies for cremation. Okay, so where does this lead? So the undead are gone. About time someone put things back to normal. Why are you guys out here? Oh, I'm only missing one piece. Jays. Hey, look, red lyrium. Red Templars ahead. They look serious. Who looks serious?
Oh, that was my third one. I unlocked the cave. Can't tape. Let's look around. anything wow I don't think that thing ate enough people okay and I think I have enough time to go and do the estuarium cave I thought there was going to be more to it. Guess not. Where does this go? Discover this little chunk of map.
Perfect place to park my horse. Welcome again. I killed the wyvern up in the caves. The body's yours if you want it. That I do. Here for your troubles. I hope you can make good use of it. Okay, and that is it for this episode. Please leave a like, comment, or subscribe down below if you liked the episode and would like to see more like this. And I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.